So in this video I'll explain whether we can use two or more codes uh, to code one extract or one sentence. Uh, and also when we talk about our results and present our results, whether it's okay that uh, one extract represents uh, two or more or more themes. Uh, to some of you who are uh, maybe more experienced with data analysis and research, uh, this may sound quite obvious, but it's definitely not obvious to those who are just starting with data analysis. And I uh, hear this question a lot. So you did ask me many times whether it's okay if you use more than one code on one extract. So the short answer to this question is yes. So absolutely, if you feel like one extract uh, means uh, something uh, more than just one thing to you or represents more than just one you know a, a concept or notion then absolutely you can you can code it with as many codes as you want so now let me show you an example and explain what exactly i mean so now as you can see we are in nvivo which is the software as uh, most of you will probably know the software i use uh, for qualitative data analysis uh, we're looking at an article about parental burnout uh, this is an article from New Scientist, uh, New Scientist, my favorite scientific magazine. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I'm just saying that I like this this magazine. So we're looking at this article, and I just want to focus on this uh, single paragraph uh, to explain what I said before. So to explain that you can use, uh, for example, one sentence to uh, code it with uh, two or more or more codes. So, uh, for example, when we're looking at this uh, extract here, so the interviewer is asking uh, Dr. Moira Mikowajczak, uh, can you see burnout signs in a person's body? So, uh, let's focus on the first, uh, the first sentence. Uh, especially at the initial stages of coding, when, as I always recommend, ideally you should code in uh, a lot of detail, so you have lots of codes and make sure that you don't miss anything later from your data. Uh, I would definitely see a couple of different things in this sentence. Uh, why uh, I said that at initial stages? Because at later stages when it becomes uh, clearer and clearer what you are focusing on in your study, uh, it becomes clearer what kind of extracts are in fact relevant and important for me. But initially I just don't want to, as I said, miss anything. As, as I said in another video, I'll try to link it uh, to it in this and uh, from this video. Uh, to me, the goal of coding initially is almost to create a table of contents, a table of contents of everything that we have in our data, because the goal is later to simply work with our codes rather than work with full extracts. So you don't really want to be uh, rereading full extracts. So initially your goal is to code as much as possible and later just look uh, just uh, look at your data through the lens of your codes. So coming back to this extract, uh, let me just see what it says. So to answer the question whether you can see burnout signs in a person's body, she said we have looked at levels of cortisol in her, which is a marker of chronic stress and can show the level of stress that you have been exposed to over the past three months. If I was coding this, uh, at, l at least at the initial stage, I wouldn't just code it as, an, uh, let's say, can you see burnout signs in a person's body? Firstly, this code would not be a good code uh, because it doesn't really tell us much. So if I was to code this kind of thing, I would probably call it evidence of you know burnout in a person's body. But still, I want to code it as something, something else. So I would probably uh, code it, let me just open the, the coding uh, screen here so you can see as I'm creating new codes. Let me see, we have looked at levels of cortisol in hair. Uh, well, yes, I would probably code it as, you know, ways to uh, to determine the level of stress, you know, or, or burnout signs. Let's just call it burnout signs. That's uh, the first thing. Uh, I would probably code it as uh, the level of cortisol in hair is a marker of chronic stress. So, you know, this is important. I didn't know that. So, uh, you know, maybe how to recognize stress, how to recognize stress, because I may need it later as well. In fact, I may even need, uh, you know, this, this information about specifically cortisol. 
I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it, so hopefully it is cortisol. Uh, so I would probably code it at, you know, maybe this part, levels of cortisol, which is a marker of chronic stress. You know, what is cortisol? What is cortisol? And how do you pronounce it? <laughs> that would be interesting as well. What is cortisol? So that's, you know, to me, I don't know what this is. And again, if I'm especially on the first transcript, I have no idea if this is important. Maybe I'll keep seeing extracts about cortisol. Again, obviously I'm just coding an interview, you know, like an actual interview for a magazine. But if I had a data set, I had 10 more interviewees and they would be talking about, let's say this, uh, you know, parental burnout, I would probably figure, you know, just in case if somebody else talks about cortisol, maybe it's an important aspect element of this data, I'd rather not miss, you know, extracts about about this uh, this chemical or whatever it is um yeah and that's uh, and that's pretty much it or you know it also says uh, the level of stress that you have been exposed to over the past three months you know so um i would i would also like to to make a note of this so you know maybe like limitations you know of of ex you know exploring or investigating levels uh, of cortisol or you know some, something else uh, how do you, cortisol maybe even you know it, it's up to you so that's the main again I hope that this illustrates how personal subjective and uh, and flexible a process this is so it's up to you if you want to call it you know something else or like how long you know back we can trace uh, the level of stress you can can do that too but as you can see I have four codes for this one sentence this is not to say that you always have to be that detailed but this is uh, simply to say that you can if you want to you can don't feel like you know there is no reason why you are you're not allowed to do it because this sentence already represents something else it's not a good reason you can code it with a hundred codes if, if you want to uh, so that's the main message that I wanted to uh, communicate in this video of course this is uh, just a simple example uh, but if if you had a, a more detailed study of something and the next question that you may have is if I have these uh, let's say one extract coded as two different codes and eventually I create these themes and and end up having two themes uh, to which one extract is an example uh, is it okay to I guess to share this example I would say that it's probably okay I mean as you can imagine it probably wouldn't look that good if you had two sentences in a row in your in your results chapter and you were talking about theme number one and gave this extract and then theme number two and gave this extract but I mean you can obviously w find a way around this and perhaps give this one extract and explain that it uh, is this extract is an example of both uh, the theme one and theme two so that's again nothing absolutely nothing wrong with it and in fact it's these this kind of extracts quite often are interesting because you may imagine a situation where somebody's uh, showing some mixed emotions or maybe not telling you the truth where you can uh, you can code it as you know what he actually said and you can also code it as possible evidence of you know not sharing the truth uh, which is a, a different topic because now we're talking about surface level meaning and, and implicit meaning which is by the way what I plan to record next week so if you're uh, watching this on YouTube there is a big chance that uh, part two of this coding basic series is already there as well so this is everything I wanted to share on this topic I hope that you learned something new if you're not uh, sure whether you can code one extract with two or more codes uh, Feel free to watch my other videos, feel free to ask me questions in the comments, feel free to explore my self-study course on how to use NVivo for data analysis, and if you feel like you need some more detailed and more guided support, uh, feel free to reach out about uh, private tutorials that I offer.